Our next guests are on a mission to stamp out prejudice against redheads. Didn't know there was any, but anyhow. Oh, uh, Br British good. photographer Thomas Knight says flame-haired people have been marginalised and bullied for too long. His global campaign called Red Hot 100 seeks to find the best-looking gingers in the world. The sexy stills and video exhibition has been a huge success in London and New York and now it has come to Australia. It's time to reclaim the red. The Red Hot Project showcases the hottest guys from around the world, from actors and models to Olympic gold medalists. It's an exhibition, a coffee table book and a calendar. Now the campaign has come to Australia with photographer Thomas Knights looking for the best red-headed men down under. Thomas Knights joins us now along with cover boy for Red Hot 100, Ken Beck. Good morning, gents. Thomas, what do you think redheads are the butter? It's not bullying. It's, a, it's like oh, I no. should put out a calendar of blokes with big noses. Yeah. So, well, it's, you know, there is, there is a de like definition of bullying, which is uh, it has to be repetitive, intentional, and there has to be a power imbalance. So there is actually a definition of what constitutes bullying. But, um, you know, it... I mean, that's how you distinguish between, you know, what is um, just banter or just yeah. little jokes and right. what's actually bullying. But, you yeah. know, a lot of the, uh, the guys in the, uh, in the book and the exhibition have, have suffered forms of bullying because of their, of their red hair. It's sort of an un... It's an un-sort of talked about subject, really. People don't really take it seriously. But is it's... That, is that true, Kim? You're a good-looking guy. You're a model. Have you, you have you had a hard time because of your? It's not that red, is it? <laughs> I used to be really, really red as a kid, though. Yeah. Like it is, it, for me, it just uh, went darker with the years, and my eyes have changed into like like from several colors, like so <laughs> many colors. I had cat eyes a few years ago, like totally yellow. Oh. Now they're like brown, <laughs> green. I don't even know what color anymore. But <laughs> you've got, you've had some stuff going on, haven't you? I changed yeah. every day. So did you get a hard time as a kid for your red hair? Um. It's not always easy, but let me just put it as this. I, I didn't expect that this would be my future <laughs> a model, to be honest. Really? That was I, 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 found, I, f I found Ken working in a juicing shop, and I, and I happened to have a calendar on me that I, that I was... Uh, that I, I don't know why uh, I was carrying it around. It didn't come up to you and go, I'm a photographer. Y that yeah, it was, line. It, was, yeah. it was exactly right, like right, that. And he had right. never done a photo shoot before ever. And this, <laughs> the, um, the, the, uh, the cover that is now, where's the camera? Uh, there is. I um, don't always look like this. Th this is his first ever picture that he ever ever did. So oh, he's sort of obviously you were wasted in the juicing shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, and, uh, and now with the rest of history, he's sort of uh, you know working as a as a full time model and you know signed to Elite Paris and you oh. know, New York models and AMCK in London. So yeah, yeah doing really doing really well. Wow. So what type of men are you looking for in the red hot? Well, um, the whole concept of it is to try and present um, positive role models for ginger guys. So we're looking for sort of, you know, uh, hero heartthrobs sort of characters. They're, they're sort of, if you look at uh, Hollywood, um, it's sort of devoid of, of um, you know, the heroic sort of uh, aspirational leading man that is ginger just doesn't exist. There's mm. literally nobody. The only person what about the that guy can... from Homeland? Yeah, Damien yeah. Lewis. He's yes. literally the only guy. And it's okay. actually kind of like the first time that it's ever really happened. Okay. Um, but, but if you compare you it to women... There are lots of red-headed men sort of psychologically scarred because there's not a leading man who's a redhead? Well, I think there is actually something to be said about not having any, anything to aspire towards. And if you're suffering bullying at school and then not having anything oh. to look up to, then it can... It we can had a prime minister who was a redhead. And yeah. I remember, a as yeah. a well, one grand final lunch, yeah. uh, breakfast, she named her Ranger Team of the Century yeah. in the AFL. Yeah. And all the red-headed blokes who were superstars in yeah. AFL. Brought the house down. Yeah, yeah. It was sensational. It, there, there's Cameron definitely Link. something changing. There's definitely sort of yeah. um, something in the air. Like it's the we, we've we've caught the wave of the the, the the ginger tide, shall we say? But um, okay. but yeah, females, redheaded females. There are so many aspirational redheaded females, and we're trying to just mm. up the ante and 
show some find uh, the male Nicole Kidman. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Well, okay. good on you, Thomas. Thank so you very much. Not technically a redhead either. I know, your beard's red. Uh, my beard's red. Not. I, I, yeah, it, it, it have you got, dyed your hair? No, and it, there's like a line here where my beard starts, and, it, and people go, "Have you dyed your beard?" But um, I, uh, I, 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 when I, when I was growing up, my hair was a lot more ginger, and it just got mm. darker. Mm. I think mm. sometimes. As Ken said, it just changes. My hair got darker. Well, I'm glad you didn't do the last question on our scripts here. What Ken, on behalf of our viewers, can you take your shirt off for us? I think oh. that's incredibly sexist. <laughs> uh, Ken's not a piece of meat. All I'm right. all about objectifying the uh, ginger male, so Ken's up for it. Yeah, OK. That's my job. That's what to I do find, for a living. <laughs> to find out more about the Red Hot Project, go to our website. And you can also post your own photo of a redhead you think could take out the competition. Yes. Oh, yes, that's so cool. This one was sent in by Ashley of her partner. Jody sent, Jody sent this one in of Chad. He should be in the contest. Saying hot yeah. with a personality to boot. Mm. Lisa Newton sent this one in of Danny <laughs> sporting a lovely red moustache and everything else. And oh. Pat sent in this gorgeous photo saying he's a lady killer and he's only two. Mm. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I just quickly say... Redheads uh, unite. The, uh, the Deutsche and Hackett Gallery, 55 Oxford Street for two weeks, as of the 3rd to the 14th of okay. December. The exhibition. Okay. The exhibition. Come down to see Please hi. come down. It's free, free entry. Enjoy.